Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca. Today I am going to play with the new Alter Ego palette. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you're doing well. And uh, hi, welcome. Take a seat, let's play. Yes, I'm wearing my other Target blouse. So you guys, I, I got this blouse at Target. It's eyelet, it has puffy sleeves. I'm sort of in love with it. And I got white, there's a teal and the pink. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm really okay. I just have a thing for puffy sleeves. Okay, remember that Seinfeld with the puffy sleeve, the puffy sleeve shirt? Now I'm like, I want that shirt. Alter ego. Folks, they've done it again. I've actually not opened this. I've barely seen any swatches on their Instagram, but they did send me this in PR, and this, thank you so much, Alter Ego. I love all their palettes. You know, I, I feel like I, I'm biased because I, I get them in the mail, and then I'm so excited because they're sending them to me, but honestly, I love their palettes. And this sounds amazing. 10 colors, $22. Ready? I'm gonna take the plastic out. I like the uh, I like the palette. I like the cardboard. This is really pretty. It is inspired by gemstones, so this looks very much like I don't know what is this a geode, like a graphite gra uh, quartz. <laughs> you can tell I'm super into gemstones. <laughs> Terrible. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is so pretty. I don't know what this is duping. The Alter Ego palettes seem to dupe stuff. This reminds me, I'm getting some Pat McGrath vibes, but I don't know. Um, so I'll let you take a, take a gander at this. It's gorgeous. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, mm -hmm. looks very, almost a, like a neutral cool tone. This one looks very warm. The shade Radiant looks very kind of fiery, sunsetty. but I'm, I'm really getting some good, good tingly feelings on this. Um, it is described as baked shadows with pressed powders. It is a combination of matte, metallic, satin, and duochrome finishes. Let's um, swatch what I think are the mattes first, and that is this Mystic Shade, which is a very nice kind of taupey mauve, and then you have this shade called Rare. Rare, no. Um, and so those look nice. Those look very not, uh, ooh, they're very soft. They're not what I thought. They're not a hard, chalky matte. They are, I wonder if people think like, oh, that's kind of, that's a dud. But I actually feel like it's, it's just sort of a softer shade that you can build. Okay, so Crystal is this pearl white and it's a baked, oh, okay. It's kind of pearl, kind of opalescent. Mm, not as impressed. I feel like it's a little, it's very pretty. It's, it's not what I thought, so maybe that's what I have to do. I have to kind of like suspend my <laughs> expectations. Um, I, I feel like it's, okay, so for baked, I understand now. You kind of, you build it up. It's really pearl. It's, it's opal. It's not white. Radiant. I'm really, really excited about this shade here. It's very, it's got that like sunburnt, like a sunburnt orange. That's pretty. I like that. I like that because it's got that, you know, that kind of rainbow sherbet thing going where everything sort of it's, it's orange, it's pink, it's peach, it's gold. It's very pretty. It's again, kind of soft. Let's see here. Um, spell and sacred. Okay, so then gold spell. You know, I feel like Alter Ego is trying something new and I appreciate that. And you know, we'll see. This is nice. Very pretty. So I can see how that's just sort of these lovely, 
it's, it's perfect for getting into warmer months. Okay, now sacred. Sacred looks kind of glittery to me. Kind of scared. <laughs> it's nice. It's described as a metallic sandy dune. Oh, oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I see. Okay, so if that doesn't have any fallout and that doesn't make a mess, that is gorgeous. That is, whoa, it's, it's sparkly, it's glitter, like it's just, it has that ethereal sort of shift to it. Okay, so we have spectral. This is more, this is pressed. Oh, it feels good. Spectral feels really good. Oh, that's pretty. That's like a champagne kind of nude shimmer. Feels buttery and nice. Okay, and then we have opaque. Also very buttery. Oh yeah, that's good. That's like what people, I think that's what the people want <laughs> right there. And then let's look at, imp oh no, magnific, magnific. Oh geez, hi, sorry, I'm fine. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Last, infinite. Okay. This, ooh, 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 that feels pretty. That, not, that doesn't just feel pretty, that feels, that feels nice. Okay, oh yeah, okay. So these four are like, wow, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> um, these are really just, people want that, you know, like let's have metallics and they're buttery. This one is interesting, we'll see how it works. Yeah. I'm gonna put my um, Alter Ego eyeshadow base and I'm going to do my foundation later in case there, if there is some glitter fallout, you know, I, I planned ahead, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be using metallic shades and I want, if I have to do some cleanup, you know. I am going to just use this palette. I'm not going to use any other, any other palette, okay guys? The matte shade Mystic. I'm gonna put that all over my lid. I'm using a, um, this is the unit brush, the one to one. The matte shades, this matte shade is, it's doing a nice job sticking to the primer, if that makes sense. I don't see any, any sort of powder, kick up, anything, no fallout, nothing. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> like that. This is the Alter Ego brush number nine, and I'm gonna use it in the shade Rare. This is the other matte. And I'm going to pack that on the crease corner, and I'm also going to put it sort of angled and along the lower lash line. But I'm doing it kind of messy because I haven't done my concealer yet. So I know that I'm gonna put more product there to kind of clean it out because that looks pretty smoky and I'm okay with it. I'm using brush number five in the radiant shade. I just wanna see how this works. This is that kind of burnt orange. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, folks, this is, ooh. Okay, sometimes when you swatch a shadow and you're like, hmm, and then you're wondering because you're using your fingers and then you put it on with a brush, whoa, I don't know if I've ever, it's very rare that I put a shadow on with a brush and I like it better than when I've swatched it on my arm. This is very cool. 
I've kind of overrun the entire eye look with this shade. I got carried away, but it's so pretty. I like it and still no fallout. Okay, we're gonna go in with Infinite. And that is a, a baked, no, that's the pressed powder. I'm gonna kind of just put that here because I want a little more depth. Kind of the way I started it with that shade rare, but I sort of went crazy with Radiant. Yeah, and I actually, I'm gonna put rare over this because they describe it as a cinnamon brown and I think that will look interesting. Okay. Okay, that is a lot. I mean, it's we got a lot going on, but I'm okay. We have to do the sacred. This is the glitter. This is that glitter shade. Oh, nice. That is so pretty. Let's try, let's try setting spray on a brush. So let's see if we can just pack this on a little more. Yeah, that's good. A little more impact. We like it. We like it. It has that wet, that metallic wet look. Got some Merit. Uh, I'm using the Merit highlighter that I love so much as a primer because I saw someone do that. I'm going to just go in with some Makeup Revolution Conceal and Glow with just a Real Techniques. Is this F5? Ooh, F7. Oh, and it's fine. some cover girl. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just kind of buff that. What shade is this? 140. Got my Wander Beauty. bit of Bellini for blush. I'm gonna do some setting spray on my eyeshadow. Right. Yes. I'm gonna do some brows and lashes, just mascara off camera, and I'll be right back. So I did mascara, I did brows, I actually powdered a little more uh, you know, just to kind of set everything more. But this eyeshadow is incredible. Uh, it hasn't, nothing in the eyeshadow has moved down my face, which is good. <laughs> um, and I did put on um, the CoverGirl Liquid Lip and I'm going to put over that the shade Spectral. I'm going to just see what it looks like. That's kind of cool. It's a little, a little chalky. <laughs> you know what I could do? Hang on. <gasps> oh. Did we mean to do that? Hang on. Let's do, let's do Radiant.
That is fun. I wasn't sure what I was going to get with that. Actually, the combination... I like that. I'm feeling very, very luster, very, uh, very gemstones. I did get a little bit of black eyeliner on the inner corner of my eye and it's a little messy. <laughs> that's, that's my fault. I'm trying to fix it. Okay. But I think I'm done and I think I'm in love. Alter Ego, you did it again. This is gorgeous. I know this is maybe a little much for some of you. Um, you know, I mean, it is called a luster palette. It is inspired by gemstones. And it's just so pretty crystals and textures. And I really do think that despite some of them just kind of swatching kind of eh, it really, really paid off. Uh, definitely eyeshadow primer um, and I enjoyed applying it with a brush more than I did my finger so yeah and this has not traveled down my face and I think it helped with um, some setting spray so yeah so I will leave my discount code below and I will leave all the other makeup I have put on my face <laughs> so I hope you like this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already tell your friends Share the love. I'm so close. I think I'm close to 24,000. Yeah, I think I'm at like 23.7. <laughs> so yeah, let's do it, right? Okay. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.